Yeah, Devin, just uh, first time being a free agent for you, obviously. What was that process like, and what ultimately made Seattle a good fit for you? Uh, the process was good. Um, it was definitely uh, nerve-wracking, you know. You didn't, you had no clue. But uh, Seahawks came into play, and uh, I know they liked me coming out uh, 2019. And I got on the phone with Coach Carroll a couple times, and we talked, and, you know, we spoke uh, frequently. And uh, ultimately, when I got out there in Seattle, I mean, I felt like uh, I was around a bunch of uh, good guys. You know, Coach Carroll was was, was obviously defensive-minded. I'm a defensive player, you know, so that's a good match. And, uh, you know, I just I just felt like there was all about competition. And, um, you know, I, I know they just signed Geno back, so they have a, a you know, a quarterback. And everybody needs a quarterback in the NFL to win. So I, I feel like it was a it was a growing opportunity. And uh, I feel like it's, it's something special brewing there, and I want to be a part of it. Corbin. Hey, Devin, welcome to Seattle. A few weeks after you signed, Bobby Wagner came back. How excited are you to be able to play and learn alongside him uh, in Seattle? Too big excited. Me and my dad was actually talking about it uh, when I signed to Seattle. Uh, Bobby was still out there in free agency. And, uh, you know, we were just playing around saying, you know, it's a possibility. And uh, once it happened, you know, it was kind of like a dream come true. I can say that you know, potential Hall of Famer and to be able to, to, you know, play alongside of him, you know, I, I can't ask for any better situation than that. Bob? Uh, uh, yeah, Devin. Uh, yeah, welcome to Seattle. Um, what, uh, the, um, what, what have they told you about how you would work along with Bobby? And, and would you play the weak side linebacker spot or, or what have they kind of told you about how that would, how that would work out? I haven't, I haven't spoken um, scheme-wise with anybody. But uh, if I had to take my guess, I mean, I know being, me and Poppy going to be next to each other, and I think that's all that really matters at this point. You know, I feel like, um, you know, him being such a veteran and me being a veteran myself, we can kind of feed off each other, and I think we can play multiple so spots. I don't think we have to be sitting in the same spot all the time. And how do you feel about how your uh, your career went in Pittsburgh? I know you had the ACL injury and stuff like that. that how do you, I guess, how do you, when you look back on kind of the four years in Pittsburgh, how do you feel like that went? I learned a lot. Um, you know, obviously, I wouldn't say it was was up to par, but, you know, I had my ups and my downs. And uh, I think I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about this business and I learned a lot about what I want out of it. And, uh, you know, I thank uh, the Steelers for uh, taking a chance on me. And I thank them for the four years that I had here. But uh, it's obviously time to time to move on and and go to different things and, and learn some more. Tim Booth. Hey Devin, um, I was going to ask about your about your knee and and sort of what was the what was the challenge for you coming back from that and where do you feel you're at health wise now a couple of years removed from the injury? It was a lot. Um, my first time uh, getting surgery, my first time missing a missing a season in my whole entire career, even from you know being seven years old. So it was it was all so all new to me. You know, everything was all new. Everything was coming so fast. Everything was moving fast. And uh, as of right now, I'm on the other side of, of my injury. You know, I, I I dealt with it. I've been through it, and uh, I'm I'm feeling a lot better. And I'm feeling like I like I never felt before, honestly. So I just can't wait to get out there and just showcase my talent. Michael Sean. Hey, Devin, uh, just now you said you, you learned a lot about the business and learned a lot, of, a lot about the game and what you want out of it. Um, wh what do you mean by that? What'd you learn? It depends what aspect, uh, but I can say for right now, um, you know, just training my body, knowing how to listen to it, knowing how to train it, uh, knowing when to push, knowing when to pull back. Um, and like just the business part as, as in, you know, front office and stuff like that. Uh, just how sometimes, you know, moving along may be the best case or staying may be the best case. And, you know, everybody has, has their own reasons on why they do things. So I like, you know, it's never no hard feelings in this business. It's kind of just what works best for you in your situation. Uh, what can a fresh start in, in Seattle, so to speak, uh, do for you in your career? Um, I think it's, it's a new opportunity. You know, I think, I think it's a, it's a great place to, to play football, you know, cause I, is our big thing out there and and just being able to you know have the opportunity also to play next to Bobby Wagner so I mean the the floor is open I think I think this division that we're in uh, we could easily win it so I mean it's, it's just a new chapter thank you
Curtis. Hey, Devin, welcome to Seattle. Uh, when you made your trip out here for the visit, what, what kind of stood out to you about the, the conversations you had with the, the team looking forward to what your role might be? And as Corbin mentioned earlier, like Bobby Wagner wasn't signed then. So the aspect of how you thought you were fitting in before that kind of came to be as well. I knew I had a place that I can come in and compete right away. Uh, I knew I had a place that was very historic for the defense. And uh, it was a place that I also knew liked me early on in the draft process. So, I mean, we all had, you know, something mutual going on and something familiar. So I just feel like it was a good fit for the time. You know, I, I feel like it it would be a good chance for me to, you know, get out of my comfort zone and, and go to Seattle and, you know, learn, learn the ways out there and, and get a chance to just play football again. And you mentioned the uh, the contact that they had around the draft and so forth too. How how much had you talked to them back then, four years ago, coming out and and um, knowing that they had that interest in you at the time? Uh, I knew early on coming out of college that they were a potential candidate, you know, a potential landing spot for me. So uh, you know, I was always intrigued by that. Obviously, you know, with what the divas they had, and uh, you know, we we talked a lot. Um, but obviously it didn't work out. But I mean, things come back around in this business and, you know, you never know how things could play out. Brady. Hi, Devin. Brady Henderson with ESPN. Nice to meet you. Um, just wondering what you feel like you do best as a linebacker. My playmaking ability, I think, is my best trait, you know, be, being able to make plays in any in, in any form, any fashion, you know, whether it's a blitz or it's a pick or it's a forced fumble, fumble recovery, you know, touchdown. It, it could be anything. I just feel like I'm just a ball player at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what position I'm in as long as I can get between those white lines. And when you came out for the free agent visit, did you know when you were coming out here that you were going to sign or was the idea that you're going to come and make a decision after that? My idea was to keep my options open. Uh, I know on the, on the flight there, you know, I had a lot to think about, and uh, I knew Seattle was was a real contender. So, you know, I had my 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 fair chance to to research and you know watch videos and watch old clips from the season before, you know, just to see how the team was, who was on the team, the different coaches that was on the team, the different styles they were in. You know, I even watched a couple old games on YouTube from from last year. So. I was just gaining knowledge and just really watching the team and watching, you know, the culture that they built out there. So it was a, it was obviously a learning thing for me. And then once I got in the building, meeting those guys, it kind of just kind of meshed. And, you know, I kind of got a better idea with who would I be working with and being around on a daily basis. Got it. Thank you. Corbin. When you look back at your first four years in Pittsburgh, obviously with the injury and consideration, where do you feel like you as a player have improved the most and what is an area or areas of your game that you'd like to improve the most coming to Seattle now? I got a chance to learn the, the NFL my first four years. Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh didn't always put me on the field. Uh, so I was able to watch, you know, as they say, mental reps is, is also the best rep. So I was able to, to soak up the game and learn the game and, and being able to play the game before the game even got played. So I think my film study definitely got better. Um, me paying attention to, you know, little cues here and there definitely picked up. And uh, I think, you know, being able to mesh that with, with, with uh, Wagner could, could definitely be something special. Michael, Sean. Hey, Devin, who all did you meet with when you came here on the pre-draft visit? Or not, sorry, not the pre-draft, the free agent visit, sorry. Who all did you meet with? Uh, I met Coach Carroll. Uh, I met the whole defensive side of the ball. Uh, I met the running backs coach. Um, it wasn't too many people in there. Uh, but I, I did meet the defensive staff. That's, 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 I met almost the whole staff. I don't think I met um, Coach Clint, but I did meet him another time. So I met a good number of people. Um, and how much play calling did you do, if any, uh, in Pittsburgh? I did it my uh, my first year. I did it my second year. I did it my third year. And I did it my fourth year. It's just whenever they felt like they needed to give me the green dot. Cool. Thank you. All right, last question, John Boyle. Yeah, David, Julian Love said you guys were on the visit at the same time out here. I'm just curious if you guys got to – hang out, got to know each other at all, or if you knew him at all before that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and Julian came out the same year. I remember seeing him a lot uh, during the draft process. Uh, we had the same agency, so we all we always familiar, you know, with each other. So 
you know, we had dinner together and we had dinner with uh, me, myself, and Julian, uh, and the Divas staff, you know, we had a chance to talk and, you know, we talked about football, family, you know, different places to travel and stuff. We just had a, a nice little, little dinner.